Wait for it. Here we go. Go. Morning time. Morning time. Morning time. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord hath made. That the Lord hath made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let's be the Lord of my own, Israel from everlasting. Israel from everlasting. Let's be the Lord of God of Israel from everlasting. It's August 14th. Everlasting. Oh, God, she would say amen. Amen. Oh, God, she would say amen. Amen. Oh, God, she would say amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's get our hymn. Get your instruments out. Let's get our hymn. We're going to sing our hymn. This is our morning time. Shake her. Treasure 
it. I'm gonna say, look at these pictures. What's that? Treasure. Treasure. Levi, what would you do if you found a big box of treasure? I would, I would, I would be happy. You would be happy? Yeah. And what would you use it for? I would use it for so I can have all the money. <laughs> all the money. Ricky, do you have any treasure? read about this story. One day, Jesus was telling people about God's kingdom. God's kingdom is wherever God is. King, Jesus told them, it's wherever God is in charge. It's where he fills your heart up with his forever happiness, and you stop running away from him, and you love him. But sometimes people couldn't understand things very well. But Jesus helped them by telling them stories called parables. Can you say parables? Parables. Maybe he said parables? Parables. Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a hidden treasure. And then Jesus told them this story. Okay, let's see. He said, once upon a time there was a man working in a field, digging. So there he is, digging. But he doesn't know that in that field, there's buried treasure. So he's digging, digging, digging. Plink, plink, plink. Uh-oh. His shovel bumps into something hard. Hello, what's this? He picks it up. He does sit off and it's a chest. It's rusted and locked, but he pries it open. What he sees inside, he takes his breath away. It's beautiful, it's glittering, it's gleaming, it's twinkling, sparkling, precious jewels. It's a treasure. It's a treasure chest. He wants that treasure. He needs to get that treasure. He must have that treasure somehow. Even if he has to sell everything so he can pay for it. Yeah, those are the precious treasures. So the man quickly buries the treasure again. And you know what he does with him? He runs home and he sells everything he has. He takes the money from the sale and he goes and he buys that field. Now he owns the field and the treasure that's buried in it. He runs back and digs up the treasure again. Jesus said, coming home to God is as wonderful as finding treasure. You might have to dig before you find it. You might have to look before you see it. You might even have to give up everything before you can get it. But being where God is, being in his kingdom, that's more important than anything else in all the world. It's worth anything you have to give up, Jesus told them, because God is a real treasure. Mommy, mommy, is it this guy who found it? Yep, and you know what? God had a treasure too, of course. A treasure that was lost long, long ago. What was God's treasure? What was the most important thing that, the thing that God loved best in the world that he lost? A treasure chest? You know what it was? God's treasure was his children. That's why Jesus had to come into the world to find God's treasure and to pay the price to win them back. And Jesus would do it, even if it cost him everything he had. Mama, I want to see Jesus. You want to see Jesus? All right, well, right now we're going to talk to Jesus, so we're going to go ahead and pray. And then we're going to listen to God in our hearts. Okay? Oh. Oh. You going to get to your praying spot with you? Okay. Your praying spot is it? Levi, you going to get you to your praying spot? You going to switch today? All right. Do you have to take the papers? You have to grab the papers. Jesus, thank you for this new day. Thank you for these kiddos. Grow them up to be men after your own heart. Fill their hearts with your love, their minds with your wisdom, and their bodies with your strength. We pray a blessing for everyone today who's watching. 
May they be filled with your love, your wisdom, and your strength. Papa, Papa, your phone is waterproof. Name of Jesus, amen. Papa, your phone is waterproof. Thanks for joining us for our morning time. Papa. This is something Steph does with the kids Papa. almost every day. Papa, your phone your mm. is waterproof. All right, goodbye, buddy. Papa, Papa, your phone Levi, is... say goodbye. Bye. All right, Rue, you want to say goodbye? Bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye, we love you.